Hey everyone! Before this episode starts, I just wanted to say a couple of things. I took the past couple of days off. I'm in Santiago, Chile right now, about two weeks later than the episode that you're about to see. And I just wanted to thank everyone who reached out after the last episode and encouraging me. It felt very good. It's keep, it keeps me going. The main problem that I'm having is twofold. One, YouTube changes are not really encouraging content creators anymore and it feels a bit weird. I'm not going to talk about that probably at all. You've seen many other people talk about it. And second thing is that my computer is acting up and I find it very, very difficult to actually do edits. The bottom line is I can't see what I'm editing until I render it, which is a couple of hours, and the feedback cycle is just so big that it's very difficult to put out good content for you guys, but I'm trying. And the reason why I'm reaching out right now is that for me tomorrow, I'm traveling to Cuba, where I'm not going to have any internet until I leave Cuba on the 13th of December. So most likely there won't be any episodes until the 14th, maybe the 15th of December after this one, just because I have no means to upload it. So sorry about that. I hope you enjoy those weeks coming up to Christmas and I hope you are preparing for the holidays and you're not getting stressed all over it. And yeah, I'll see you guys after the 14th of December. And until then, enjoy this episode. Well, this is definitely not how I plan my day. <laughs> I'm right now on the way to go to the office of the car rental company who set me up yesterday. And I'm really hoping to A, at least get my money back, or B, get a car because I need to move to another Airbnb today and it would be much simpler with a car. It's about a two kilometer walk, which is roughly 20, 25 minutes. It's all right. <laughs> Imagine living in a city where your average view is like this. I'm just speechless. This is... You have crystal clear water. It's cold though, but it's really clear. And the mountains and the trees and everything. Look at this. I'm spotting so many cool photo opportunities. I'm definitely going to come back down with the drone and there's just so much things to shoot. Fortunately, the new Airbnb is much closer to this place, uh, which is the city center with restaurants and bars and whatnot. And since I'm not that sick, I can come out and play. Look at this elevator though. Car rental update. They're super sweet about it. I'm going to get the car, so everything's going to be perfect. Oh, I'm happy. I just need to wait until they go to the airport, bring the car back. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna walk around and show you a bit about the city. Basically, I have an hour to kill. And what I usually do in cities when I have an hour to kill, I want coffee. And the best way to go and find a coffee shop where they actually sell your coffee is look it up on Foursquare. Foursquare is pretty good on coffee. And my G7X battery is dying as well. This is definitely not my day. Got back home and cleaned the apartment. I like to leave all the Airbnb flats the way I found them. I do the dishes after myself. I clean up, I tidy up, I make the bed. I, you know, I just make it look nice because why the hell not? I can do it and it's much better for my rating. And I think it's much better for the owners of the apartment. I'm waiting for the owner of this apartment to show up so I can hand it over and then I'm on my merry way. So I just arrived to the address of the new apartment. This looks really fancy and it has a parking spot somewhere. So I just texted the, the owner to come down and get me 
and hopefully you can just park in the garage and then do stuff. It's really close to the city center. I'm really happy about this. It should be cool. Welcome to my home for the next five days. I'm not even sure how long I'm staying here, but look. Look at this lovely space. How cool is this? A huge kitchen. Compared to the previous one that I've had, with basically no work area in the kitchen. This is amazing, I'm loving it. Look how huge this is, I can dance in here, which is really cool. Also, yes, washing machine. Um, it's a huge living room, which I really love. It looks really colorful, really creative. Bathroom, pretty standard. And the bedroom. But the only downside is that busy street. Hopefully it's not too loud during the night. Imagine this as your average city street. This is remarkable. Also, there's a mini Lombard street here, look. So the history of this whole town and the area goes way back. But the thing that you need to know that it lies in a national park called Nual Huapi, which is the name of the lake that you've seen in previous episodes. And rumor has it that this um, modern settlement, you can say, began with one German guy who set up shop here. And by the late 1900s, there was a little settlement around it. And that grew into what you now know as San Carlos de Baliocha which I think has like something 120,000 people living in it and it's the main city in the national park. In the 1930s, they decided to rebuild the entire, at least, city center and they re-architected it to look a bit like an alpine little city. They actually called it Little Switzerland for the time and now the center of the city is all stone and wood and it really, really resembles an alpine city. In the 1950s, the Austrian scientist called Ronald Richter was commissioned to build the world's first nuclear fusion reactor on one of these little islands behind me. How cool is that? This little place, this hidden away little place went through so many amazing things. I'm really trying hard to do nice shots with this blazing sun. The day when I arrived, everyone was in winter jackets. Today, everyone's out in their swimsuit and sunbathing. In a couple of days time, it went from like two degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. This is insane. You might even remember this story, but in 1995, the director of the local German school has been arrested for war crimes as he was Erik Priebke, one of the commanders of the Nazi party in Germany in World War II. Huh? I'm really, really looking forward to some good quality warm meal. I haven't had a warm meal in like a week and a half, two weeks, I don't know. Currently it's 6 p.m. so I'm just gonna jump in the car and drive about 10 minutes to another location. And I'm also taking the drone, taking all the camera gear because it is in an epic location. Maybe before or after the meal I'm just gonna go out and shoot stuff. <laughs> I think I found the place. I'm not sure if I found the right parking spot, but I'm gonna venture in. I still can't really get past how amazing this place is. But just look at this. Oh, come on. I'm speechless, breathless, whatever. Apparently I have the whole place to myself, which is really cool. I'm expecting good service. Oh, this view though. So 
I ordered some food, some traditional local stuff. I'm, I'm really keen to try it out. There were so many good things on the menu. I just want to eat them all, especially that I'm deprived of a hot meal, so I need one. Extremely sorry vegan or vegetarian friends of mine. I just have to. Well, <laughs> I ordered dessert. And whenever there's tiramisu on the menu, most likely I order. Most likely I'll order tiramisu. I wasn't expecting this. Look at the size. <laughs> All right. Hi. Oh, I'm going to explode. We are on the road again. And while I was eating, I checked the map, and in about 10 kilometers, it's like 15 minute, 40 minute drive. There is a mountain top and I just want to go up and see what's going on. It's closed right now, whatever is up there is closed right now, so I'm hoping there's not many people up there. And I really want to fly the drone and just look around and maybe plan tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be 28 degrees Celsius. Summer is here. And although I love heat, I much more prefer a snowy mountain. So I'm planning on going up a mountain tomorrow and see what's going on. But today, today is just a bit of a pre-planning. I think I came to the right place. This was only the first day of me exploring this wonderful area. There's so much things to explore, there's so many places. And I think it's fitting to end today's episode on a high. Get it? <laughs> Until tomorrow, remember to dream on, dream big, and make it happen! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>